Well, the beast from the east has returned this week, bringing with it snow, sub-zero temperatures and some disruption. While those in the west escaped the worst of the weather, those living in Essex, Kent and some parts of East London weren't so lucky. We'll get a full forecast in just a moment after this report from Toulouse at Oye. It seems it's never too cold for an ice cream. South End on Sea was one of the areas that saw the most snowfall today. The conditions in Essex led to two key vaccination centres closing. The council coming in from the coast and some parts of South East London saw a significant amount of snow. This was Orpington. And in Mottingham, greater caution was needed on some roads. These were the postcard perfect scenes in Blackheath. A few braved the temperatures for walks. The London Ambulance Service has warned people to take extra care. With regards to the weather specifically, we've seen an increase uh, in patients who are falling outside on slippery pavements and slippery roads. Our advice would be to stay in unless it's an absolute essential journey. And that's also in line with the COVID guidance released by the government. But absolutely, uh, our ask of the public is not to put any further pressure on us as an organisation because we are already quite busy. In truth, there was more of a dusting than a dumping over much of London today. But with low temperatures forecast all week, Public Health England has issued a cold weather alert for the whole country through to Wednesday. So this won't be the last we see of the white stuff in our area this week. Tolo Adelie, BBC London. Well, it seems uh, apt to get a check on the weather with Kate Kinsella. Hi, Kate. Hello, Victoria. Good evening. Well, some of us have seen some, some of us haven't. But whether you did or you didn't, it has been bitterly cold today. Temperatures in London didn't get above zero Celsius. And we're going to hang on to this cold weather for the next few days. But difference being, as we head further through the week, fewer snow showers. Now, the Met Office has a yellow weather warning in place for snow from today right the way through to Wednesday. Now, the snow showers from today, of course, have been feeding in from the east. Now, this is over in Stoke Newington. You can see a light dusting there. Down in Croydon, a few centimetres. And this is a statue in a fountain in central London. You can see frozen solid. And it's going to stay like that as the temperature isn't going to get any milder. Now, you can see it's all coming in from the east. Snow showers further through the day as well. They've been continuing and through the night also they're going to continue coming in from the east. Some of those could be quite heavy actually, or at least not heavy, but taking their time to move across. So further snow expected overnight tonight. Some clear spells developing, minimum temperature dropping down to a potential minus four. So a very cold night again, widespread frost. Now for tomorrow, still the risk of a few snow showers, but the wind which has brought that significant wind chill today is not quite as strong. Still brisk yet, still could see one or two showers but there'll be fewer and we should see some bright and some sunny spells temperatures tomorrow sneaking above zero potentially now as we head overnight tuesday and into wednesday you can see the wind falls a lot lighter those showers staying out towards the north sea so we're unlikely to see many showers on wednesday itself we'll see some patchy cloud but some bright spells as well the temperature staying very similar it is going to feel very cold we're looking at a maximum of around two celsius and we are going to hang on to this cold air as we head further through this week. Victoria. Okay, Kate, thanks very much indeed. Right, that's about it from me. I'll be here later with our 10.30 programme, but for now, from all of us here on the team, whatever you're doing, do have a lovely evening. Bye for now. <laughs>